welcome back to Delorier's Adventure. Just doing a little video, quick one. Putting these TRQs, trusted, reliable, quality, performance brake rotors, onto my 2005 Honda Accord Coupe with the big 3.0 VTEC. Sarcasm, guys, sarcasm. Gets good gas mileage and it has decent power. So I've already installed them. I was gonna, I was thinking about recording the installation, but yeah, I was being lazy. I didn't want to. Doing it on the phone anyway. So I don't know how these are gonna perform. I don't know if they're good or bad. They cost, well, you can get a set for the fronts and backs for the same cost. It would, uh, cost you to put just the OE brake rotors and pads on and as a matter of fact I've already done that I've already put a set of brakes on this car and uh, mm, I mean drive a lot but they they heat it up and you get a shimmy when you apply the brakes which means the the rotors were warping so there's the old one the se the second old one <laughs> not not the originals and um here's the i guess the part number trq bra74693 if you want to look them up for your 2005 honda accord coupe but i'll do another video uh about how they actually perform they do good I haven't installed the backs. I do have the the backs as a kit, so get the front and backs for like two hundred dollars. Great deal. Um, but you just take the tire off. It's easy. The hardest part on some of them is going to be loosening these. So sometimes they're rusted in there, and uh, if you can't get it with like an impact uh, drill without stripping out the the grooves there for the Phillips. Uh, then you might just have to drill them out which is no big deal it just holds the uh, rotor in place while you put everything back together um so for your lug nuts that's going to be uh a 19 i don't know if you can see that 19 obviously a phillips this back here for your um your actual caliper is Oh, get back in the camera frame here is a 14 and then for the actual caliper bracket that's a 17 and that is I don't know I don't know if you can see nope can't see but there's two of them top bottom simple job uh, like I said flip in getting these out could be a bear you might need a drill in a bit and then also to push the uh, the piston in on the caliper one of these little gadgets help out a lot or you just use a c-clamp either or does the trick so that's this side that's, that's what it looks like slotted drilled helps take away the heat so the so the rotors don't warp so they don't have that same problem i do did this side are i've already done that's what it looks like through the rim and have a new set of Cooper tires in my opinion it's one of the best tires you could get uh, for the price the performance is fantastic they grip great it rained a lot just yesterday and uh, didn't slip one bit didn't hydroplane fantastic tires Coopers that's what they look like it was uh, like a hundred and two dollars or 105 per tire uh, I think Cooper tires are underrated. They're not paying me to say this. It's just my opinion. But if uh, you're looking to get new tires, I, I recommend Coopers. Like I said, they uh, I don't think they get enough uh, enough shutouts. So anyway, that's my video. It's short. It's not the greatest, but uh, like I said if if you're looking for something that's a little bit better than your original equipment. You could get these for, I mean, you get a set of four 
fronts and backs for the price to do the front. So in my opinion, you can't beat the deal. I haven't, like I said, I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know if it's good, but we're gonna try it. That's the part number for the, uh, the pads for the front. Ah, heck, you know what? Let me do the back too. I ordered them through A1 Auto. Direct replacements. Oh, it has the rust protection, so I think if you're like on the East Coast, where you get a lot of the salt, a lot of snow, we don't have that problem here on the, on the West Side. Um, then uh, these are also great for that rust protection. They don't come with that grease coating, but this is going to be for the back. And for the back is, uh, well, you can see the number. I don't need to read it out loud for you. And... the pads so I haven't installed them. I'm not going to install these today I just want to do the fronts those are the ones shimmy probably do it again I don't know not next weekend a couple weekends from now or so but so like I said we'll do a follow-up video the old ugly ones we'll do a follow-up video I'll let you know what what my opinion is if they're if they're good if they perform better so on and so forth all right guys well thanks for watching see you next time